using well-tuned tools like this number four smoother to achieve these beautiful gossamer-like shavings is both a joy and it also unlocks a lot of processes to you that you might have thought only possible with machines. Tuning your tools to this level of performance means you must know how to prepare and maintain your edge tools to premium sharpness. In this short video segment, I'm going to show you my method of how I prepare and maintain my sharp edges. Whichever abrasive media you use to sharpen your edge tools, you must keep them flat. Uh, if your abrasive media is not flat, then whatever shape it is will impart that exact profile onto your edge tools. With my water stones, I'm going to use a very simple method of keeping them flat. I'm going to use a flat granite lapping plate with some uh, silicon carbide wet and dry sandpaper um, as a, a, another abrasive media with which I can flatten my water stone. First of all, just draw a very simple grid of pencil lines on your water stone like this. This will give you a visual indication of when you have uh, achieved a sufficient level of flatness. Because these are water stones, I'm going to lubricate the stone with some water. Once you've drawn your grid of pencil lines on the water stone, present it upside down onto the wet and dry sandpaper and move it backwards and forwards. Distribute the motion over the paper so that you even out the wear. Periodically pick your stone up and check it and you'll see that now that all the pencil lines are gone, you have a flat water stone. To work on the primary bevel of your tool, I prefer to use a uh, round whetstone grinder. This allows me to work continuously without worrying about overheating the tool and it also reduces the amount of work uh, in my next process which is to hone the micro bevel at the water stones. So once you have loaded your uh, edge tool into your jig to present it nice and square to your grinding face. So present the edge tool to the grinding wheel, move it slowly backwards and forwards with nice, nice even pressure. This way you'll distribute the wear across the wheel and keep it nice and square. Periodically check your work. You're looking to see where the grinding wheel has fully polished the entire uh, primary bevel of your edge tool. Also, just very gently run your finger along the back of the tool when you can feel a very fine hairline burr. That means that you have uh, abraded and polished right to that edge of the edge tool and that is the time to move on to the next step. When you have your edge tool loaded into your honing guide, which I prefer to use, make sure your water stones are lubricated with water. Then present the honing guide to the first stone, which in this case is a 1200 stone. Apply nice even pressure to the tool and gently draw back for one or two strokes and then inspect your work and just see that you have achieved a nice fine micro bevel all the way across the edge tool. Once you have established your micro bevel, proceed onto your polishing stones. In this case, I'm starting with a 4000 grit stone. Again, nice even pressure, draw the tool back six to seven strokes, move on to your next stone. In my regime of water stones, I proceed up through 6,000 to 8,000. And finally to 10,000. When you have finished polishing the micro bevel, Remove the tool from the jig. And the last step is to flip the tool over and present the flat back onto the final polishing stone and just gently work backwards and forwards like so. This maintains the polish and the flatness of the back face of the tool and it also removes that fine hairline burr. Dry your tool off and then you have a very, very sharp edge. To test the quality of your sharp edge, one method I like to use is to very, very carefully present the sharp edge to my arm and see if I can shave some uh, hairs off my arm. Please be very careful if you try this at home because you have created an extremely sharp edge.
The key to successful sharpening is knowing just what a sharp edge is, and that is the intersection or the meeting point of two flat polished surfaces. So if we look at this chisel here, which is a classic edge tool, we need to work on the back face of the tool, and we need to work on the primary bevel of the tool. And when these two faces meet at the cutting edge, you have a sharp edge. Knowing what a sharp edge is, you then just need to decide which abrasive media you choose. I use a round mechanical grinding wheel to work on my primary bevel, and I use water stones to hone a very fine micro bevel right at the tip. You can also use oil stones. You can use diamond paste on a flat lapping surface. Uh, there are a number of other different abrasive media that you can use. It's just a matter of choosing which abrasive media works for you and then knowing that you need to work on both of those faces to achieve that true shape.